So after all this time, you've finally done it. You've gone out and you've flown with your GoPro Hero and you recorded in your flat profile. And I'm so proud of you because now you can take full control over how you want your colors to look rather than just saying, okay, GoPro, give me what you got. And now you're back at your desk and you've loaded up the footage and well, you don't really know what to do with it. So you go and you find a LUT and now your video kind of looks like this and it's not quite what you want. So you go back to where you were and it's kind of flat again. And well, let me show you how to get started so that you can take your footage and maybe take it from this to maybe a little closer to this and uh, how I do that. And I'm gonna get you some very basic steps. You can go way deeper, but I'm gonna start off by showing you the settings that I use in here so that you know maybe it makes it a little easier for you to follow along. All right, so let's jump into the settings. Now, of course, this was shot with a GoPro Hero 10, and these are the settings that I used, and the footage has been stabilized using GyroFlow, and if you want to know more about how to do that, I'll have that video linked down in the description or maybe a little cue card in the corner. But let's get into these settings. So resolution, 4K, 4x3, like I always shoot in at 60 FPS, with a wide lens profile and no hypersmooth because we use GyroFlow here, Hypersmooth can go fly a kite for all I care. Uh, scrolling down to bitrate, I use standard just to kind of keep the video file kind of simple because we're using it here on YouTube and I'm not selling this footage. Uh, shutter speed, 1 over 120 because double the frame rate, so or double the shutter speed for the frame rate for that nice motion blur because I'm using an ND16 filter. And with an ISO minimum of 100, maximum of 400, White balance was left to auto because GoPro does just fine with white balance. I'm not here to fight with that one. Sharpness was at medium. I could have gone for soft or, uh, you know, the, the smaller setting. Uh, but that medium retains a bit of sharpness but allows me to add back some more if I want to. Color, this is the important one, flat. Now, if you're on a Hero 12, you can use the GP log and then you can use a LUT. But the reality here is you've probably not using that and you've tried a LUT and it's gone crazy. So you want to know how do I get some basic uh, color corrections going on here. So real simple here. We, like I said, we've already gone through and exported the video using GyroFlow and I'm going to go ahead and drop it in here. We're using GoPro Colors. That's the name I, I named it. This is the file. I'm going to drop this in here and then I don't think we're going to get much audio because I've got it turned down to where I don't uh, deafen everyone. I'm going to let it change the frame rate here. That's fine. I'm not really worried about that. What we're mostly worried about is getting this into our timeline on the edit tab. So let's go ahead and drop it down here. Just for the sake of everybody's ears, I'm going to go ahead and mute that track just in case it needs to be muted. Now, honestly, if you've got your GoPro, the settings right and you're using an ND filter, it's not going to be terrible, but look at that. That is kind of bleh. There's not a whole lot like color going on here. And this is a good example of why you would like to use a flat color profile. If you look in the shadows here, you can still see a lot of detail. Down here in this shady area, you can still see that. But you can also see the sun still. I mean, we can bounce around and find different spots. And you can see that the range is a lot higher than if you let GoPro just kind of do what it does. But that's a whole different topic, and we're here to talk about how to get some color back. Now, you've got your uh, Fusion tab. Ignore that one. We're not worried about music or audio settings, so we're not going to Fairlight, and we're not delivering it yet. We're going to go to our Color tab. Now, this is in a 1080p screen here, so if you're running 1440p or 4K, you got a whole lot more to work with, and things look a lot better. We're going to ignore this here LUT uh, panel. I don't even know if I can make that. There we go. I actually, I'm just going to leave it here just because it makes it a lot easier to see this little section here. Um, but what we're mostly worried about, and when we make changes, I'll zoom in here just so that we can kind of see it, uh, is what the colors look like. And down here in the bottom, we see that they're kind of all over the place. But what can we do to kind of correct that? What we want to do here is I'm not going advanced, so we're not messing with the HDR grade or the RGB mixer, or anything crazy. As long as you got your scopes up, remember in the bottom right, you want it over here on your scopes. Parade scope is the one that I tend to stick with. And it just gives me a nice red, green, blue, 
and I can work with that. I'm not worried about a custom curve. We're going to go on the left and we're going to go to our basic color wheels. Now these are our very basic settings and a friend of mine, ADFPV, thank you so much for getting helping me understand this a little bit better so that then I can work with it. Now, here's the reality. If you wanted to come in here with GoPro with your GoPro footage and just go to your saturation tab and hit 75, hit enter, you got a lot of color back. Even if you bounce around on the scene and you look around everywhere else, you've got a lot more color. And I'm going to revert that just so you can see it. There you go. Saturation 75. If that's all you want, you can stop there. You can export this and you're going to have a pretty solid color palette. But if you wanted to go a little bit further, let's take this back to zero and I'll show you my flow. So one of the things that I tend to do before I mess with saturation, ooh, reset that. <laughs> Always remember your reset button there, reset all or control Z to go back one thing. I want to adjust my temperature a little bit. I tend to like it a little cooler. So we're going to do that. See there, you can see it move over here. If I move to the left, it adds a lot of blue. If I move to the right, it adds a lot of red. You start to see it kind of how it works back and forth, how it balances. Green kind of stays in the middle. We're going to take this back to zero though. One of the things I want to do here is I'm going to give it a little bit a tilt toward the blue. And I want to take my lift. So your lift here is going to typically go with your black colors, your darker colors. If you look here, you go down, it'll drag it down. If you go up, it'll brighten it up. So if you want to get your shadows, like pull out some detail there, that's fine. You'll do that. We're going to leave it here. I just want to show you the, the, the changes that are going to make, be made here. Gamma is going to move the middle range up or down. So if it's overly exposed and you want to bring it back down, you see how much more natural that starts to look. All right, so I'm going to reset it. And then we're going to go gain, and that's going to gain your highs. So if you want to bring those back down, that's fine. But no, it's still a little flat. All right, here's what I would tend to do. I've already adjusted my, my temperature a little bit. I've turned it down a little bit. I want a little bit more contrast because I like a little contrast. Go 5%. Boost that up. Gamma, we're going to drop it just a hair. It's in there about negative four is usually where I like to go. And then I use the shadows to drag that down just a little bit. All right. Now I'm going to go my saturation. I like about 60. 60 usually looks about what I like to see. And you know what? From here, if you want it to be a little sharper, you can take your midtone detail and bump it up just a hair. You know, and, and honestly, at this point, I'm, what I want you to do is take the footage that you've done and kind of experiment. So from here, remember your temperature is going to balance you left and right on your red and your blues so that you can either make it warmer or cooler. Saturation is going to bring a lot of that color back in. If you want to go black and white, just zero that out. Uh, shadows, exactly what it's going to do. The lower that number, the darker, the deeper, the crunchier those blacks are going to be. And then if you go again, lift is your darker tones. Gamma is kind of your middle of the range colors. Gain is going to be your higher colors. And if you've got one color that's like completely out of whack and you need to adjust it, you can do the offset and adjust that one color. Let's just say here, like, man, I really want this blue to bring itself up. It's just really low. Now, I don't, I'm fine with it where it is, but I want to show you what will happen if you want to do individual colors. Look at that. See how it kind of crushes out a little bit of those greens, makes it a little bit more. So I'm perfectly fine leaving it right there. This isn't a deep dive to make you like a super color correcting expert, but I want to show you where to even start. So what we can do now is I'm going to let this play out and you can see uh, one side will be with the flat color profile and another one will be with the grade. And quite frankly, um, I don't use a lot, a whole lot. I usually kind of tweak it per individual one, but I do have some, See my GoPro Hero 9 folder that I've got right here. I have made these. This is uh, one of those Drews, ADFPV. So I've held on to that. But if I want to save this, I can right click it and I can go down to generate LUT and you can do 65 point cube. And right here, LUT, pick a folder. We'll go with GoPro Hero 9. And I'm going to put 
for the YouTube and hit save. And then the next time I'll, I, I do a footage, if this is the color grading that I like, I can just drag and drop it on there and then I'm good to go. So I hope this helped you figure out kind of where to get started with color grading. It's not gonna make you an expert right here. I didn't, that wasn't the point of this video. It's just to help you get started, get comfortable with it. And then you can go on and really start making it your own. I mean, this is, that's kind of the, Part, part of this is artistic expression. Make it your own. Don't worry about making it uh, uh, for someone else, I guess. Make it for yourself. Make it fun. Have fun with it. Add some effects. Heck, uh, take the colors and flip them around. Do what you do. Either way, here's a side-by-side -side of the out of the GoPro flat and then with some colors. So, hope you guys enjoyed this one. Uh, you know, like and subscribe and uh, we'll catch you in the next one.